They're using Amazon's bestseller ranking to see how many sales a month products make. Click on Pro Extension for Chrome. It'll take you here and you'll be able to add it to Chrome from there. Make sure you do get a plan started before you actually get it, otherwise the tool is not going to work for you. Another really cool thing AMZ Scout offers when you do sign up are these masterclass videos. If you click in here, these are seasoned seven figure Amazon sellers that you can jump in and watch their one hour masterclasses. Some of them are an hour and a half long. Some I've seen are as long as two hours long. So you can jump through and get some ideas on launching your product, advertising, determining if a product is good enough to sell. There's a lot of cool free instructional videos here right under the trends and learning section. But in the rest of this video, I wanna actually jump over to our tools and show you the product database and we're gonna do some product research with the AMZ Scout software so I can quickly show you how it works. So under product database, you'll be able to click that and I've already pre-selected some categories that I deem a good fit for getting products in to start selling. Again, we don't wanna go try and sell digital music, books, automotive, sometimes electronics are a little more sticky to get into when you start. So these categories are a good place to start and I even included the keyword plush because I've found some really good niches that are just around the plush type of product category to begin with. And then I've nailed in a simple price point where I'm gonna be making a good amount of profit per sale with everything I make. I don't really sell things under $20, otherwise I'm only making six or seven bucks profit per sale. You can also come over here to the more filters button and you can put in the weight of a product. Maybe you don't wanna have it more than three pounds if you're trying to conserve on shipping weights and those costs that can be extra high, if especially you're doing air shipping. Um, you can do a bestseller rank here. Now, like I've stated before, for the rank on Amazon, if it's product number one, that means it's the best product in the category. A rank 10,000 still could mean it's making a lot of sales because in Amazon there could be 100, 200, 300,000 products in one category. So even if it's ranked 10,000, it could be doing pretty well in sales, but closer to number one means it's making more sales and it's a higher ranked product. I'm gonna leave that open-ended here for this search. Estimated revenue, I want a minimum of $7,000 in revenue for the products we're gonna be pulling up here. You can filter by listing quality, and if you hover over the question mark here, it's gonna give you a detailed breakdown of the scores that they give here and what it's all about. Um, I'm not even gonna to touch the sales here. I just wanna find a product in this price point that has less than 50 reviews that's at least making $7,000 in revenue within these categories. So I could remove the word plush here and just leave it open-ended, but as we can see over on this side of the screen, there's a lot of different weird plush toys. Now, if you come over and see some of these other weird type of plush toys, they're getting 1,300 sales a month with only two reviews. Squishmallows, that looks like it's an actual brand of product that I've seen pretty frequently, so we don't wanna step on that trademark or copywritten product. Same goes for the brand here, Pokemon and Furby, we're not gonna really wanna look into those. And I even noticed up here, here's pretty much the same product, zero reviews, 1,100 sales a month, $60,000 in revenue per month. Random brand here for this plush toy, again, it's another variation of the Rainbow Friends with low reviews, high sales, high revenue. We're gonna take the main keyword here, Rainbow Friends Plush, copy that, actually just paste it right into the Amazon search bar so we can get the entire market for this product. We just kind of scroll through, make sure everything looks to be about the same, which it does. And from here, I'm now going to click on up here where I have the AMZ Scout extension, which I can click on it there, or I can even come down to this button here and press on the AMZ Scout Pro. Let it load up for a second. And I'm looking at the niche score and it's a nine out of 10, which is very good. So we're looking at high profit, good desired prices, high profit margin, great demand. Competition is light, which we've been able to estimate by the number of reviews. So you take a look at these reviews here, revenue and sales. So they have all the data I wanna see. And as you can see, there's a ton of data in this extension. You can go press on your find suppliers and Alibaba button there. You can get keywords for your product to help you build out your listing. You can even search the trends here on Google. Um, but what I'm gonna do is come into the settings button, do options, 
and I'm gonna uncheck some of these things that I'm not really interested in seeing. I like a more clean look, so it just has all the info that I'm interested in seeing. Now to organize this, like I like to do sometimes, is just press on the sales button, and then it's gonna organize the amount of sales going down so I can get a good feel for the competition. Sometimes if you see all the sellers that are making the most sales have the most reviews, then you're like, okay, that makes sense. But when you see a lot of sales and still low reviews here, then that is a green flag to say, let's go in and try and find the price of these on Alibaba and then check out the profit calculator to see what kind of profit we can actually make on these things. So if I come in here, they're looking at about 50 cents to $1.19 per piece. That's good enough for me to make an estimate here. And now this is a seven piece product that they're selling for $54. So if I say seven pieces times, let's just estimate $1.50 per unit is $10.50 plus maybe let's just be conservative and say $2.50 per unit for shipping. That's $13 a piece for these guys. So let's find the profit on that. If I just press this down arrow, you can add it to a product tracker to see how many sales it's making over a week's time. The product history, if I go to maximum available period, we can see they started selling in April, 2023, and they have consistently been making, you know, 37 sales a day, 23 sales a day, 40 sales, 40 sales. So it gives you the amount of sales they're making per day. And you can add that to your tracker to see are they slowing down in sales? Are they making more sales? Now I see the FBA fees are $18.52 right here. So I can just click on that. It's gonna open the profit calculator for me. And then I can put in my estimate of $13 per unit with shipping for seven little stuffed animals in this thing. And then you'll come down to the bottom and see that you'd be making $22.46 profit per sale after the FBA fees and the cost of your product. So 22 profit per sale. I just calculate the entire cost of my product order, how much the product's gonna cost, how much shipping's gonna cost, and take that lump sum and divide it by how many units I'm actually purchasing, which would be maybe 100 or 200. And when I divide it by how many units I'm buying, I'll come out to my total cost per unit, and then I can just plug that in right here and factor a quick look at what the profit per sale is gonna be. Now, $22 profit per sale, and they're making over a thousand sales a month. So that's over $22,000 profit a month with only 46 reviews on this product. So literally I told you guys I was just putting in that word plush cause I found a lot of different products in this category. You can go through whatever this thing is, a toilet toy plush. This could be another weird random niche that I've never even seen before. Toilet toy plush, are you kidding me? So let's pop that in real quick, find the entire market. And now that we found these guys, we can quickly run AMZ Scout and see if there's actually demand for toilet toy products. First thing I wanna see is, okay, we have Captain Underpants, that's gonna be a branded trademark thing. But here's some weird brand name selling these little toilet toy guys. And then we come over here and let's see, okay, extremely low reviews. I'll sort it by sales again. Uh, we have the highest sales going down. I wanna double check. So we have Captain Underpants, we can exit him out. But here are all legitimate toilet toys data right here. So this guy has a lot, he's an outlier. But if we come down, 600 sales a month, two reviews. 13 grand a month, 94 reviews. Zero reviews, 300 sales a month. So this thing is only selling for five bucks, 15 bucks, um, but you see extremely low reviews and still quite a bit of demand here as far as sales go. The revenue looks a little lower, maybe because a lot of these people are just selling the one-off item by itself. That's where we wanna come in and make our bundle. Look at the six pack for 60 bucks. So if I come in and do one more quick example, I can just delete the word plush here and say find products. I like to sometimes look at only high ticket products. So I'll go maybe $99 to $250 and I can run a search there. And then maybe you'd be finding things that make you 50 bucks, 60, 70, $80 profit per sale, which could really start making you a lot of money with fewer sales, having to deal with less inventory, things like that. So this is a double stroller organizer. Uh, pretty interesting idea here. It's selling at $70, 13 reviews. So maybe I'd go into Alibaba, see how much I can get that for. 
after looking at the entire market to see how are these double stroller organizers doing? Is every listing making a lot of sales? Does every listing have not that many reviews? If they all have over a thousand reviews, you know it's gonna be a lot more competitive to get into. Last thing I wanna show you because you can see maybe you'll get a lot of the same weird type of product like this mug. You can come over to more filters and go exclude keywords and say mug or t-shirt or anything like that if you start to see a lot of the same products come up and it'll exclude those from your searches. So I hope this video helped you and gave you a quick look at how powerful AMZ Scout is. Thanks a lot and I will see you in the next video.